Here is the space behind my workbench. Here is my work table and this is empty space usually and I can work there and then over here is my staging area. Now even though it's really pretty when it's cleaned up it's not very functional so today what I'm going to do is switch out this dresser um, to something that has a lot more storage because I still need storage. So this is quite a big project because this piece is really heavy and I'm going to have to find a new home for it. But I think tackling this project will allow me to be a little more productive as we move forward into this new year of productivity. As always, the first thing we're going to do is move everything out of the way and this way I will have a clean canvas. Now this uh, dresser here was a dresser that I turned into a TV stand and it used to be in our home and then we built that mantle out of that bed and so this had to come out here. It's a beautiful piece, however it's had a lot of wear and tear since it's been here in the garage and so I will have to fix it up again before I can sell it but it's definitely a good piece and it's going to get put to good use. I'm grabbing a box and I'm emptying everything out and this is going to help make it a little lighter because like I say this piece is really heavy but if you see those three drawers I'm pulling out that is all the space that I had for storage because the outside uh, those end parts they don't really hold much I left them open for baskets so my dear husband did come out and he helped me we were able to get that piece out of the way and then I cleaned up the place swept it really good and then I'm going to go ahead and bring in a dress that I found. Now, one of my neighbors gave me this uh, because they know what I do on Facebook. So whenever they have furniture to get rid of, they call me. This piece happened to be already painted. And look at the amount of drawers. It has lots of storage, seven drawers, perfect for everything that I need to store behind my workstation and under my staging area. Now, I would have sold this dresser, but it's not real wood. It's another IKEA find. So I don't want to sell this one because it's not real wood, but I think it's perfect for storing things for my workshop. The first thing I'm doing now that it's in place is sorting everything that I use. Now this drawer here, I will show you guys towards the end of the video, this ended up being my favorite drawer. What I'm doing here is putting these little wooden cubbies to create compartments because this drawer is going to store my hardware. Until now, my hardware has been in three different buckets in three different locations all throughout the garage and it was a hot mess you guys. I ended up buying hardware when I already had some in here. Now I am sorting everything. I'm putting the knobs in one place, I'm putting the pulls in another, and I'm putting all the miscellaneous and the knickknacks in here. So now when I take off a piece of uh, hardware on a piece of furniture, I know exactly where to put it. When I need a piece of hardware to go on a piece of furniture, I know exactly where to find it. So as we're talking about being productive for the new year, I'm really making sure to set myself up for success. Being organized is one way you can increase your productivity. Look at how beautiful this looks, but think about the functionality. Imagine the functionality that this is going to give me. I can grab these items as I need them at a second's notice. Here is the new space, uh, that new piece is not as big as the other one, it's actually about uh, a whole foot shorter but it's okay because it's much more functional with all of this storage. So I have some linens that I prepped last night because I found them while I was decluttering and I ironed them and they're ready to go to the shop. So I do want to go ahead and show you that I still have my staging space for when I have some pictures that need to be taken. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how much more functional this new dresser is. So we're going to start over here. So this drawer here is my staging drawer. This is where I keep the little things that I use when I'm staging that just make for better pictures. Uh, it's not much because I'm trying to not have so much stuff. And then when we move on to this next drawer, 
here I have all of my decoupaging items. I've got my napkins on top. Um, I've got my sheets, my music sheets. These are some of my favorite things to decoupage with. But this is much more functional. My papers are not all scrambled, you know, scrambled together. I'm not having to look all over the place for them. They're all in this one place. And then we move on to this next drawer. This is where I have my IOD molds and my clays. Normally I had these uh, put together with my transfers and it was just a hot mess. But now everything is here. I can easily access it and I'll be ready to go. So all of my IOD molds here, my knockoff molds here from Amazon. And then this is where I keep the clay that's open just so that it's airtight. And then this is just some extra clay that hasn't been opened, so it's okay in the Ziploc bag. In this drawer, I have all of my pricing supplies for my price tags. I've got my tagging gun, I've got extra tape for the gun, and I've got, you know, some strings, some actual tags, some furniture tags for the larger pieces. Everything that has to do with pricing is here because I can just reach behind me, grab it, tag something, and get it moving. And then underneath here, we have all of my stamping materials. I've got my extra ink in this little container. I've got some of those, you know, other stamps bagged up. And then once my IOD stamps come off of their backing, they never stick back, so I just put them in Ziploc bags. And I, you know, I try to group them together. And they're all in here. And I can easily just grab a baggie, take it to my wax station, and then bring it back when I'm done. And on top of here, I've got my uh, my grid sheets. And then those are the stamps that haven't uh, been removed from the backing. Now, in this bag, I have extra stamps that just need to be bagged up. And then right here, I have my uh, grids for the smaller stamping jobs. But yeah, this entire drawer here is for stamps so I know exactly where to go and I know where everything goes back to now let's move on to the drawer next to it and this is my scrapbook paper and IOD transfer storage so I have the, the sheets that are still full onto their full sheets they're all here they're just stacked here together and then the scraps go in here I got this from Michaels, so I just put all the scraps here, and this fits into this drawer perfectly, and I just put it in here when I'm done, and then my scrapbook papers are all stuck here nicely, and I can find everything, and it's not too crowded in here, and I'm really happy about how this looks. And then beneath there, we have, this is a miscellaneous drawer, because the things that are in here are things that I need to use up, so this is always going to be evolving whatever I need to use quickly will be here so I have these letters because I need to go ahead and make some uh, some signs with them and then I've got this list here that Linda sent me now the plan for this is to do some Valentine's Day and Easter projects so eventually these are going to no longer be here and then something else will be here now let me show you guys my favorite drawer you ready are you ready look at this look you guys before I show you, this is how you know you're getting old when you get excited about things like this. All right, let's go. Ta-da! This is my hardware drawer. This is my absolute favorite drawer right now because I can find all of my hardware and this has been the pain of my existence. Uh, it's all been piled away in some little boxes and I have to dig and dig every time I need something. Not anymore. I've got all of my knobs in this little wooden box. And then I've got some hooks, extra hardware, I've got the pulls here, I've got extra hinges that come off of things, just miscellaneous. And then look, I have baggies and baggies of hardware to keep it together and it's all here and I no longer have to go digging all over the place for it. So this is my favorite drawer out of this entire system and it was worth all of the work so I'm really happy of how it turned out and I look forward to being way more productive